Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown will split up if the Boston Celtics do not win the championship this year. Um, I mean, they've been in the Eastern Conference Finals damn near every year for like the last four or five, six years. Um, and they've always had the talent to win an NBA championship. They were just in the finals two years ago against the Golden State Warriors when they lost. And now they've added Christoph Porzingis, who's going to come back this series. He's been injured for the playoffs so far, but he should be back for game three against the Indiana Pacers. And listen, there's no excuse to not win this year. They're going up against a team that has absolutely no business being in the Eastern Conference Finals. The only reason why the Pacers are in the Eastern Conference Finals is because uh, the Milwaukee Bucks, Dame was injured even though he still played. He missed one game. Giannis missed the whole series with a, uh, with a messed up hamstring. And with the New York Knicks, they were missing about four or five players. Mitchell Robinson, uh, OG Ananobi, Jalen Bronson, Julius Randle. All these guys were banged up. They were injured, right? So we know that they're going to get past the Pacers, right? But whether they play the Mavericks or the Timberwolves, this is a must win year for the Boston Celtics. You got two, you got two superstars and you got one all-star. You got uh, Jalen Brown, who has the highest contract, highest paying contract in the NBA. You got Jason Tatum, who's a fucking superstar. Both of these guys already been to the finals. They got playoff experience, right? They're two of the, the youngest, best players in the league, right? Top 10, top 15. Um, you got Christoph Porzingis, who's seven foot two, who can stretch the floor, play defense, great three-point shooter, can attack the paint, can get you a bunch of blocks and rebounds. So, and, and now that Porzingis is coming back from the injury, he should be well rested, right? You got a veteran like Al Horford. You got, uh, what's the bald light skin dude? Fuck, what's his name? Damn, I forgot his name. You got that dude that used to have hair that cut his hair bald. He's a baller. Um, this is a championship team. And, and, and you got the, uh, uh, what's his name? Drew Holiday. You got Drew Holiday who won an NBA championship with the Milwaukee Bucks. So there's no excuse, man. Um, it, this is the year. Um, if the Boston Celtics do not win a championship, you better believe that they are going to trade either Jason Tatum or Jalen Brown. In my personal opinion, um, I think Boston rather trade Jalen Brown than Jason Tatum because Jason Tatum, obviously, he's the number one option. Um, I think most people would consider him the better player. Um, you understand what I'm saying? He, he, he has better handles. Um, I think he's a more efficient scorer than Jalen Brown is. Um, he can shoot the three. He can get to the paint. He can post up. But Jason Tatum does have a history of not showing up in the playoffs, kind of similar to James Harden. There's times where Jason Tatum is very streaky. He can't make threes. And he just, he just folds. We've seen it happen. You understand what I'm saying? Now, Jalen Brown, in my opinion, is the better player. Um, but Jalen Brown, he doesn't have the best handles. He has a bad habit of turning the ball over. Um, he likes to go to the left, can't go to the right. No matter of fact, he, 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 he's not good with using his left hand, right? I think I got that wrong. He's not good at using his left hand. He's not good at going to the left. He prefers to go to the right. Um, obviously, um, he can shoot the three when he's open, but he's also a streaky three-point shooter just like Jason Tatum is. Um, he can get to the paint, likes to dunk on people pretty good defensive player but um he does have the highest paying contract in the nba and i believe that his contract is going to be harder to uh to trade than jason tatum jason tatum he still hasn't got a new contract with the celtics so there's a possibility that boston might just trade jason tatum whenever it's the last year of his contract or when his contract is up they could do a sign and trade re-sign him and trade him to another team but I believe that they're going to keep Jason Tatum and they're going to try to move Jalen Brown. You understand what I'm saying? But either way, um, if they don't win this year, they're going to split this team up for sure. Um, I think this year is a make or break. You understand what I'm saying? Um, I don't see them firing their coach anytime soon. Um, Brad Stevens is still the president of the Boston Celtics. You understand what I'm saying? And um, I wouldn't be surprised if they try to trade Jalen Brown to the Clippers because the Clippers, um, they got Paul George, who's going to be a, I think Paul George is going to be a free agent this year. Um, so they could possibly look to move Jalen Brown for possibly Paul George, 
or they could try to move him for Kawhi Leonard because we all know Kawhi Leonard gets injured every fucking year. So maybe the Clippers are gonna look to get rid of Kawhi Leonard in the um in the offseason this year. So yep, that's a make or break year. Subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Who do you think the Boston Celtics would trade if they don't win a championship this year? Do you think they'll trade Jason Tatum or do you think they'll trade Jalen Brown? In my opinion, I think they're going to move Jalen Brown. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment. I'm out. Let's get it.